We started with 16. We are down to two. The winner of this match has their name etched in the annals of history as the second ever winner of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament and also earns a future opportunity at Santos Escobar and the WWE Cruiserweight Championship of the World. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Moscow, Russia. Weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. Ilya Dragunov has defeated Axiom, JD McDonough, and the one and only Ricochet to earn his spot in the finals here tonight. We have talked about how the Cruiserweight Classic has been a comeback tour for Ilya Dragunov ever since his Intercontinental Championship reign came to an end back in July by hands of LA Knight. Dragunov has found a new leash, a part of this CWC tournament. Upon a win tonight, could find himself a part of the Friday Night SmackDown brand and earning himself a future opportunity at the Cruiserweight Championship. Dragunov has all the tools to be a success here tonight, but stands eye to eye with his opposer, Johnny Gargano. Both of these men have had decorated careers thus far. But it all comes down to this moment. We set it at the top of the hour. The lights are on bright. Tonight is the night where superstars are made. Who will seize the opportunity and win the Cruiser Weight Classic? And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano earning victories over Akira Tozawa, Dominic Mysterio, and Nathan Fraser last week to make his way to the finals here tonight. It has not been an easy road for either of these men, and both different roads in that. Johnny Gargano facing a, certainly an emotional battle, and Dominic Mysterio in the quarterfinals, the uprising of Nathan Fraser last week, but in the end, Johnny Gargano just wanted it more than all those superstars. But who wants it more tonight? Gargano, Dragunov. This is what we've waited the last eight weeks to determine. Who is going to be the winner of the Cruiserweight Classic? It is tournament finals time in the Hammerstein Ballroom, Manhattan, New York. Saturday afternoon, October the 7th, 2023. The bell has sounded and we are underway. Johnny Gargano in the green, Ilya Dragunov in the white. An interpromotional battle. Dragunov representing Raw, Gargano representing SmackDown. As we mentioned, Ilya Dragunov wins this matchup. He could find himself a part of the SmackDown brand. All remains to be seen though. Johnny Gargano really stumbled for a couple of months ever since being drafted to Monday Night Raw. But throughout the summer through the CWC has found single success. And that knee by Dragunov certainly not gonna lead to any success for Anybody but the invincible one, but Johnny Gargano willing to come out swinging as well. Gargano sitting, dragging off into the ropes. Big time leg lariat there. Should be very interesting to see who gets the early advantage if this match turns into a very back and forth collision. If one man opposed to the other wants to utilize more strikes, which will most likely be dragging off. Gargano, I would say, has the aerial advantage in this match. It'll be very interesting to see how it progresses. It's so much riding on the line after fighting your way to the finals over the last eight weeks. Neither one of these men want to feel crushed in defeat when they hear a second bell. Right now, Johnny Gargano looking pretty good. Dragunov came out hot with that opening knee, but Gargano, it's as if that knee was an early wake-up call. Looking for the early victory. Obviously, I think knew he wasn't going to get the win that time, but as we mentioned earlier, forcing your opponent to expend that energy. Well, Gargano, wait a minute, things already dished into the outside, and as we mentioned, Gargano, a little bit of aerial offense. Oh, man, turning the Tope Suicida into a Tornado DDT on the outside of the ring. And Manhattan, New York coming unglued 
in the early moments of this Cruiserweight Classic finale. Now Gargano keeping the pedal to the metal on the outside. Dropping Dragunov on the floor of Hammerstein. You know, it's interesting to note, as we mentioned, Johnny Gargano stumbled for a few months on Friday Night SmackDown. And it started to really build some momentum on the blue brand throughout the summer. It kind of all started here in the Hammerstein Ballroom, a part of the WWE Live event for channel members only back in June, a win over Chad Gable right here in Hammerstein Ballroom. And as Gargano soars through the sky and a splash to the outside, Johnny Gargano looking to continue his success under the bright lights of Hammerstein. And drag it off with his back up against the wall, knows one answer, and that's to start swinging. And you notice, after all that offense on the outside, dished by Gargano to Dragunov, somehow the invincible Ilya Dragunov, the first one back inside the squared circle. Oh, now Dragunov, fired up right now, going for those double lariats, squashing his opponent in the corner. Now, Ilya Dragunov is just a... A different breed inside of that ring. This is a man who thrives off punishment and pain. There's a reason back in 2021 that Ilya Dragunov ended the 870-day reign of Imperium's Ring General Gunther for the NXT United Kingdom Championship. Dragunov thrives off the fight, thrives off the competition, and most importantly, thrives off the pain. Johnny Gargano, a man who seemingly had his back up against the wall, has been the underdog his entire career, has made the most out of being in that position. First ever NXT Triple Crown winner for a reason. Already in just the first few minutes of this matchup, these two are putting on a showcase for the sold out Hammerstein Ballroom and everyone watching around the globe. Johnny Gargano hanging up, dragging off in the ropes there, not afraid to get a little, little bit dirty in this matchup if need be, but don't turn your back on the Cesar. The invincible Ilya Dragunov ripcord lariat with emphatic force behind it, and now off the apron, dropping the sledgehammer. Now back up on the apron, Ilya Dragunov throwing Kostin in the wind using his own body as a weapon to inflict punishment on the whole shebang. I mean, if you're ever gonna throw caution in the wind, if you're ever gonna risk for the reward, tonight is the night and the matchup to do it. There's no going back. This has been a single elimination tournament for the last eight weeks. Go big, go home. And as Dragunov ragdolls Gargano off the top right there, looking to inflict some more damage on Johnny wrestling inside the squared circle. Ilya Dragunov has had one hell of a year. Already the Intercontinental Champion, winning it back at WrestleMania, holding it for several months, becoming one of the faces of Monday Night Raw. Johnny Gargano, as we mentioned in the tail of the tape, WWE World Tag Team Champ with Tommaso Ciampa earlier this year, that short-lived reunion of DIY came to an end thanks to the WWE draft back in March, which sent Johnny Gargano on a whole new journey on Friday Night SmackDown that has continued throughout this tournament. Now Dragunov looking to start a whole new journey for himself here tonight. Off the shoulder block, into the cover. And Gargano survives at least for another moment. Now Dragunov cannot get frustrated when he is in there with Johnny wrestling. We have seen Gargano in some of the biggest wars in NXT history with Tommaso Ciampa, Adam Cole, tag team matches with The Revival. Johnny Gargano has been in the ring with some of the best. And that's just talking about his NXT days, just in the last couple of months. This year, on Raw, on SmackDown, Gargano has fought some of the best. Almost had Dragunov right there. Gargano, of course. Oh, wait a minute, hold that thought as Dragunov rolls to the outside, Gargano! Out of the ring and to the floor, using his body as a weapon. Shot out like a cannon, like a bullet, to Ilya Dragunov off the Tope Suicida. And Dragunov a little bit rocked, taking his time heading back inside the ring as Gargano awaits his opponent there, and look at that. 
almost lying in wait as Dragunov got up on the apron and Gargano caught him off guard. A tope suicida might have changed the tides of this match. Oh, wait a minute, Gargano there left the window of opportunity. A little bit of hesitation, waited too long. Ilya Dragunov going to capitalize. Now Dragunov, nice overhead throw. Oh, what a great matchup this has been so far. And you notice neither man going for any of their signature maneuvers just yet. Knowing coming into this that their opponents were going to be just as motivated as themselves. Almost anticipating this match that may go the distance tonight and wanted to save their best shots for the end. Oh, wait a minute, Gargano. Well, he may feel the end is near. He's got it locked in. Johnny wrestling with the Gargano escape on Ilya Dragunov. It's so dangerous, the drop toe hold out of nowhere. The hands locked around the mouth. Referee's gotta watch, make sure they don't slip under the jaw. A little bit of our vantage point. This turns into a choke. Dragunov may pass out in the middle of Hammerstein Ballroom. Oh, and Ilya, not afraid to throw some strikes. I mean, it's what he's best at for anything. And Dragunov going for a lariat there. Gargano able to avoid it. Full Nelson, face first off the canvas into the cover to win the CWC. Not just yet, not just yet. The matchup rolls forward and Dragunov survives. Yeah, we have seen some amazing matches over the last eight weeks, but Gargano and Dragunov may be putting on the best showcase yet in the midst of the CWC. Sidestep by Dragunov, wait a minute. May have the power advantage, nice sit out into the power bomb. Gargano gets the shoulder up. That was a nice comeback by Dragunov there. Off the Gargano escape, the full Nelson slam. Dragunov saw a window of opportunity, he took it. The sit-out powerbomb may not have gotten the three, but damage is done. And the matchup progresses for the Cruiserweight Classic Crown. Hooked into the ropes, another high knee by Dragunov. And that might have just knocked Johnny Gargano's lights out for good. The Gargano gets the shoulder off the canvas, and you see Gargano putting so much effort behind it, so much energy behind that kick out. Wanted to make sure Dragunov knew that he has still got a lot of fight left. Counter by Gargano. Don't turn your back. Only oh, invincible one, though. Nice maneuver by Dragunov there, using the ropes to his advantage. Little springboard, little lariat for emphatic force. Gargano back into the corner as Ilya Dragunov looking to dish out some blows. Dragunov may feel a sense of urgency after Gargano locked in. The Gargano escape a few moments ago. Dragunov off the top with a major senton. But Gargano still has got fight left in him. This is gonna come down to the nitty gritty. You just gotta have a feeling. These two men are gonna leave everything and the kitchen sink inside that squared circle tonight. Blood, sweat, and tears as Gargano, look at the pace that Gargano has instituted in this match. Leaving Dragunov almost on the run into the corner. Face first off the buckle. Gargano starting to throw some strikes, realizes he's got to wear down. Ilya Dragunov here. And now the whole shebang with a couple of pair of boots to the back of the neck. What is it going to take in this matchup to secure a three count or a submission hold? Wow, what a maneuver by Gargano off the middle buckle. Tilt to whirl, face first goes Dragunov. That is not going to go well as we continue to inch closer and closer to the deep waters of your Cruiserweight Classic Finals. Dragon, oh man. Open palm strikes that Dragunov loves to throw. We said earlier, Dragunov, he thrives off pain. He also loves dishing it out. Gargano trying to avoid it as the pendulum of momentum begins to swing back and forth in your CWC finale. Drag it off up against the ropes this time. And Gargano looking to take advantage, not keeping it, or not going pretty, I should say, keeping it real simple. Trying to wear down the invincible one. Oh man! Double boots to the face, and here we go again. That time with a little bit of added force. 
going for the senton. Making a dose. Businesses pick it up in this main event affair. Drag it off with a third. And Gargano on the run this time. Who has got more left in the tank? Both these men participated in the semifinals just seven nights ago, right here at Hammerstein Ballroom. They've had the they've had the week to rest and recuperate. Oh wait a minute, but Gargano looking for the final blow, right into the corner, slingshot, knockout blow. No, Dragunov kicks out. Gargano thought he had it there. Oh, Dragunov springing to his feet. But look at Johnny wrestling. Gargano escape is locked in. And man, oh man, has he got it in tight. Dragunov may have kicked out, but does he have enough left in the tank to survive a second submission hold by Johnny wrestling? Dragunov struggling to hold on. He may be fading here. The referee's asking. Hammerstein Ballroom waits with gasping breath. Oh man, another knee. Right to the back of the skull and a closed fist. Enough to at least create some distance. And that really shows the intestinal fortitude of Ilya Dragunov right there. Just how bad he wants to win this matchup. Muscling out of a second Gargano escape. Knee right to the jaw. Oh, make it a second. Dragunov may be realizing he might need to knock out Johnny Gargano in order to secure a three count. Using those bare knees to his advantage. Ilya Dragunov. Starting him out a comeback in your main event. Gargano rolling to the outside. And I think it might be smart for Dragunov to take a moment here. Take a rest. I know you're allowing Gargano the same thing, but after... What Dragunov just went through a few moments ago, take the minute to breathe, reset, recuperate. Or go to the top as Dragunov with the cross body to the outside from the heavens of Hammerstein. And down goes Gargano. Ilya Dragunov, any means necessary. Oh man, could we go for that running power bomb on the outside? But Johnny Gargano escapes. Couple of closed fists, a forearm for good measures. And it's Gargano sending Dragunov back inside the ring. Not by will, but by force. Toe to toe, eye to eye, these men stand. And Dragunov sends Gargano over. Momentum swinging back and forth, but who can sustain it long enough to get the three count? Lariat! Dragunov with some fire in the eyes. Gargano's down, but instead of going for the three, Dragunov is going for the kill. Torpedo Moscow and coming, no! Gargano sidesteps it. Nobody home off the headbutt. Gargano, jump toe hold by Dragunov. Oh man, Gargano dodging the Torpedo Moscow by Ilya. But now it's Dragunov awaiting Gargano to get to his feet. Hammerstein on their feet. Here comes Dragunov, Torpedo Moscow, head to head, bone to bone. Gargano is down. But Dragunov's not done. One is not enough. He needs a dose. Make it a second into the cover. Ilya Dragunov is victorious in the Big Apple. After eight long weeks of grueling competition, the CWC comes to a close. An amazing effort by Johnny Gargano, but no human soul can survive not one, but two Torpedo Moscows by the invincible Ilya Dragunov. Your Cruiserweight Classic 2023 tournament winner and number one contender to the Cruiserweight Championship, Ilya Dragunov. Thank you for joining us over the last eight weeks here in Manhattan, New York. What a, a tournament it has been. And from all of us here, thank you and good night from New York City.
game tastes on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.